Hello guys, Sanjay here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best ROM which is available for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3. Or you can say this is my favorite ROM which I use on my Redmi Note 3 because there are so many ROMs available for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 that even if you flash one ROM each day and test one ROM each day, it will take you more than a month to test all the ROMs which are available on the XDA developers page. So if you don't want to test those many ROMs, then this is the ROM to go for. First of all, fingerprint sensor is working on this device. As you can see, if I lock the device, fingerprint sensor unlocked the device very quickly so first of all let's go into about phone over here and as this ROM is based on 7.1.1 or many ROMs which are available on the XD developers page are based on 7.1.1 but you may not get all the Google Pixel features in that ROM directly you will have to flash some zip files or you will have to enable Google assistance by flashing multiple zip files or editing the APK file but you don't have to flash anything or you don't have to do anything because all the things are enabled on this ROM directly so first of all let me show you Google assistant and to enable Google assistant just tap on home button over here and Google assistant will come over here and it will record as if it's Google assistant will come over here okay let's just cancel that what's the weather like in Mumbai it's 27 with smoke it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 38 and a low of okay bus 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 okay Google tell me a joke what do you do if an elephant swallows you run around in circles till you're all pooped out Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Google. Okay, Google. One more. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy, a gummy oh bear. Oh my god. Okay, Google. Let's play a game. You can play one of these games. Okay, Google. Chat games. Okay, Google. Okay, so it was not recognized properly, properly, but it's okay. Let's go back. Okay. Oh my God. Dhananjay Bhosle. Showing pictures that match. Oh my God. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's correct. Okay, Google. MKBHD. According to Wikipedia, Marcus Brownlee, also known by his YouTube username, MK. How old is he? He's 23 years old. What's his height? 1.90 meters. Meters? Who tells height in meter? So basically, as you can see, Google Assistant is working super fine. You don't have to enable or don't have to do anything. It is working out of the box. So if I click on over here and search for something, okay, search for Dhananjay Bhosle and it will show up over here. So this thing over here is also working super fine without any issues. And after this, now let's talk about one of the features which many of you guys will probably enjoy on any 7.1.1 ROM and that has to be the multi-window mode. And to enable multi-window mode, hold on to any window over here and drag here to use the split screen mode or the multi-window mode. And if you want to use settings or messenger application, you can do that. So let's select settings over here and you have your multi-window working over here. So if I go over here, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, apps and games. I'm over here and at the same time I can change things from here like go to display, adaptive brightness, enable it or disable it. So multi-window is working super fine. And now if you open up YouTube application over here, it will open up into that much window only. Uh, so now you can play any video from here. Uh, let's play this one. Oh my god, I don't know what video is this. Okay, so as you can see video is playing over here. Okay, let me just complete the video. Barobar. Hajap. Skip ad. So, oh my god. So as you can see the video is playing over here and you can change multiple things or you can do anything in settings icon. You can change that to messaging application over here. So if you're chatting with someone then you can chat over here. If you want to do like if you are on hangouts and if you use hangouts like me then you can use that over here too. So this is how multi-window works and it works super fine on this ROM and if you want to close the multi-window mode select over here and just drag it down. It will stop the multi-window mode and it will play the top application over here. After this let's go into settings because this ROM is based on Lineage OS ROM as you can see over here build number Lineage OS Kenzo D like okay oh my god uh, that's the thing basically this ROM is based on Lineage OS ROM and all the things which you are seeing over here like pixel launcher which is present in the device like this launcher 
is available only for pixel or you have to sideload it all the time so if you flash linear joyce rom which is based on 7.1.1 or resurrection remix rom you will have to sideload this pixel launcher and only after that you will get pixel launcher working on your device but in this rom it is working out of the box you can search for any application so basically uh, all the features which are present in the pixel launcher are working over here and as we were in the settings and as i told you guys it is based on linear joyce rom if we go into status bar then you can customize everything over here and as you can see i have already customized things such as status bar icons if you do not want uh, wi-fi icon to be there then uh, you can disable wi-fi and wi-fi icon won't be shown to you you can enable or disable options from here but that is not the most interesting options in this menu so clock position i like it in the center you can have it in the right side or anything like that and then many things like that if you have not seen my linear joys around features video then i'll give the link of that in the i button over here or in the description box below Watch that video and you will come to know about all the features which are present in the Linear Joyce ROM which are present in this ROM too and on top of that there are multiple other features as this is pixel launcher if I just lock the device just focus on this part over here as soon as I unlock the device the wallpaper moves that's because live wallpaper is present over here and if you double tap the lock button then camera will be enabled and let's just click a picture okay I have the Iron Man over here Take a picture of that. So the picture pictures are normal. I won't say those these pictures are better, like far better as compared to me UI. But if you are not a photographer or something like that, you won't mind this camera at all. And as you can see, details are there. It's not like the camera is worst on this ROM, but there is there is plenty amount of light present over here. But one issue with the camera is that if I try to switch to front facing camera right now, it will say camera error. And the problem is that sometimes camera application works, but sometimes it doesn't. And video stability is, uh, I would say, kind of okay. But considering it is based on 7.1.1 and it is a ROM and not a official thing, I'm completely fine with this. If you want to change wallpapers over here, then you have a bunch of wallpapers to select from. So let's go into wallpapers over here. And uh, you can select live data, which I personally like. So if this, this one is my favorite wallpaper right now. Or you can select Orbit Jazz Black, where uh, there will be a red dot over here, which will act as if it's a second. So you have multiple options over here. Not only this, you can select Sky High. There are multiple options over here. Earth, there are multiple wallpapers over here. And one of my favorites wallpaper is landscapes. And uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, where is it? And as you can see, there are too many options to select from. So you are going to get confused. Personally, I prefer the light wallpaper, but it is going to eat a lot of battery life. And I'm personally okay with like, if the wallpaper eats a little bit of battery life, but I get that cool effect of earth moving. But if you are using this device as your daily driver and want to save a little bit of battery, then I would not recommend you to have live wallpaper on your device. Instead of that, have a static wallpaper. There are multiple or tons of options present over here as I showed to you guys earlier. And as this ROM is based on 7.1.1, as I have mentioned so many times, all the features which are present in Android Nougat are present over here. So let's assume someone messages you on WhatsApp, Hangouts or normal messaging application or any messaging application that you use you'll get a quick reply option over here so Dhananjay which is me uh, I'm using my another phone over here to message on this phone I can reply directly from here which is called as quick reply and Google keyboard is pre-installed on this device so I can reply hi or if uh, I can reply hi basically so I replied hi then Dhananjay asked me who is Prime Minister of India let's assume I do not know that then I can click on this G option over here and then I can write who is Prime Minister of India. Okay. And Google will give me an answer over here directly, Narendra Modi. So if I do not know the answer, I can go back now and I can write Narendra Modi. Okay. And I can send it to him. This is a Google keyboard feature and not Android NuGet feature as such but very interesting feature that I wanted to show it to you guys. And when it comes to status bar or quick setting toggle, when you swipe down once on Android Nougat, it will give you a bunch of options over here. So if you want to disable Wi-Fi, then you can do it from here. If you want to enable Wi-Fi, then you can do it directly from over here. If you click on battery icon over here, it will give you a stacks or battery graph of how much battery is left and how the graph has been. You can enable battery server from here or you can disable it too. If you swipe down once more, then it will give you all the quick settings toggles over here. And if you click on this 
pencil icon over here or the edit icon basically you can change this menu over here you can add location if you want or you can remove things from here too it will be saved automatically and it will be added over here battery life on this rom is pretty good i won't say that it is as good as miui 8 but it is surely decent enough to get you through a day as linear joys rom gets updates and as this rom is updated with the latest builds of linear joys rom the rom will surely become better in battery life department too so and when it comes to build quality and all the other things uh, those are going to remain same because that's hardware feature and not software features so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any more doubts suggestions or queries regarding this video or this rom let me know about that in the comment section box below and if you are worried how to flash this rom then it's easy just boot into twrp recovery go into wipe swipe to wipe go into install select the rom that's it you do not even have to flash g apps package or gaps package in order to install this rom i'll give all the instructions and xdr thread link to download this rom in the description box below so just go into the description box below and make sure you read everything if you have not subscribed to the channel yet then don't forget to click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel and yes are good they are going to come so just click on my face right now and get subscribed that's the awesome thing you can do and there are many more videos which are present over here you can watch any because all those videos are made by me and are awesome so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching